from a beautiful country, Vietnam. Did you hear about Vietnam? Anyone? No? Well, it's uh, a country at 12, 12 hours flight from here. So we made a, a flight of 12 hours, uh, sitting in the metal box in the air. Don't know what to do. And um, we've got here, and uh, it's uh, five hours difference in time zones. So right now, uh, I should be in, in my bed already. And the last one, yeah, yeah I'm a co-founder of JumlaShine.com. Yeah, JumlaShine.com. I guess you didn't hear about JumlaShine as well, but it's fine. Okay, so I fly 12 hours here to talk about to talk about pain. To talk about pain. Well, it's not the pain of sitting 12 hours in the air. It's actually the pain, the pain when you are using Joomla. Well. I can see that people, uh, you are thinking like, well, what this guy is talking about? Joomla is great, Joomla is powerful, we love Joomla. What is he talking about? What pain? Well, I agree that Joomla is cool. Joomla has powerful core, it has great ecosystem of templates, of extensions. It's really a very uh, suitable system to build a small and medium websites. But uh, for new users, Joomla is awfully confusing to use. And I'm sure that, that you know what I'm talking about. But I will strip down uh, the pain into, uh, into five, five most painful things when people is using Joomla. So pain number one, it's hard to understand where to edit content that you see at the front end. So we all know how, how it, it was. You downloaded Joomla, you install it, and you see the uh, demo website, the, the, the sample website in front end. Well, wow, that was easy. I have website now. Now I guess I just need to edit this menu, this content, and my website is ready, ready to go, right? Well, not so fast. When you go into the back end, you, you will see this thing. And people will see, well, uh, where do I start, actually? That's the pain number one. Pain number two, even if you spend some time to learn Joomla, you now know uh, where to get things. But it takes too much clicks to get them. Let's see. Let's see, uh, you want to edit model title, this one, uh, about Joomla. Here is what you have to do. You have to figure out first what managers to go Okay, it's model manager. Then you scroll down, you scroll down. And uh, when you install Joomla for the first time, it's, it is configured that you uh, can only see 20 items on a single page. And you might have to click on, on pages, you know, second pages, third pages. Get, and only after that, you will get to, to the model you want. That's the pain. Pain number three. It's hard to control model presentation, reorder them, relocate them. Well, this uh, situation, we face this situation many times, right? Uh, we want to reorder some models in one position or we uh, uh, to, uh, to put it on another position. So let's see. For example, to re relocate model, you have to, you have to do these steps. You have to open model setting page, then click on this tiny button, select positions, and then you will have this, uh, this uh, small model window where you need to select the position uh, where you want to put that model. And in Joomla 2.5, they decided to put positions of all templates in one place. So you have to select the templates that you are using. And only after that, you will 
you have a chance to find the appropriate position. After you selected the position, you have to choose the order where to put the model. So three steps, and all of them are extremely confusing, even for, 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 uh, for a long time Joomla user. Pin number four, it's hard to configure article pre presentation. For example, we have, uh, we have article beginners, and let's hide the text written by Joomla. Let's hide it. Well, to hide it, you have to go to Article Manager, then browse through this madness. This is, uh, uh, there, are, there are 50 parameters, and uh, you must configure, you must figure out what parameters to choose and uh, to, to click to know from yes to no. So that's, that's a pain, that's a pain. And the last pain, it's hard to control menu items. It's pretty much like, like a model. You have to, uh, let's say, if you want to move menu item components to a new place. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, this is a, this is a bug. Let, let's skip it. Okay, so what I'm saying is uh, we, have, we, have, uh, we have five pains and um, people really are quitting Joomla for WordPress. New users, when they see Joomla backend, they say, well, well, okay, thanks, but I will, I'll get this. And they are going to WordPress, and we have to do something, because it's a real shame that such a powerful system like Joomla is suffering, is losing users just because of the bad user experience, bad user interface. We have to do something. So we have a, a solution. Well, this is um, uh, what I want to say that, um, what we have built is not a commercial product. It's a proposal for Joomla uh, about uh, our vision about how Joomla should be done, how Joomla administration should be. And this is, uh, this is just, uh, it's kind of the, 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 the first shot. So it's, it's the start for discussion. So we have built this, JSN Power Admin. This is the extensions that was built with single goal in mind to make Joomla easier and more joyful to use. So let's get back to our pains. Here's the pain number one. It's hard to understand where to edit content, right, from, from, from the start. So why, should, why don't we have the whole Joomla website in a single screen? And from now, I'll be doing some live demo. Okay, here we go. This is what we call Site Manager. Here you will see three columns. On the left, this is the presentation of all menus in Joomla, all menus, and each menu has items. At the center, you will see the component part. This is actually the, uh, what you see here, what, what you see in, in, in this area. This is the main body area. And on the right, you will see all modules that are presented on this page, on the home page. All modules presented in what positions? So this is the cure for pain number one. Just show this screen to new user, and they will immediately understand where to find these things. They see this at the front end, they go to the back end, and they see the same things. And it's ready for modification. This is the cure for pain number one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Here's the cure for num for pain number two. It takes too many clicks to get to things d you want. So the solution is to provide uh, a so-called spotlight search, where you can instantly get to the item you want based only on the title. For example. In the front end, you'll see, okay, I want to edit these article upgraders. No problem, you go to the back end. Here, you type upgraders. Okay, upgraders. Click on it, it will be open. Here we go, just simple and easy. Edit it to upgraders too, and refresh. Okay, 
So that was easy. So for, for, for new users, when they see something at the front end, they will just need to remember the, 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 the title, and they will get instantly access to it. This is the cure for the pain number two. Okay. To help. Cure for pain number three. It's hard to control model presentation, to reorder them, to relocate them. Okay? Not anymore. With the uh, third column models, you can now do a lot of actions. For example, let's, uh, let's move this model this side on the bottom of about us, uh, about Joomla. Okay, this side, just drag it. Here we go. It's spinning, it's saved. Refresh it. Here we go, Joomla, about Joomla is on top now. You can do more than that. It's just not a drag and drop. You have a context menu where you can access to all operations that Joomla provides. Okay, let's see. Let's move this to another position. Select change position. Here we go. It will analyze all the position of the template. The orange color is highlight the current position. And if we want to put it on the right side, just select. And here we go. It appeared on the position six now. Well, we can recheck on the front end. Okay, about Joomla now jump to the right side. So this is very, this is much easier than, 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 than this one. Well, I just to remind you a little bit. Okay, okay. Well, you well after site manager, I I I, I really feel sick when I get getting back to this screen because about 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 okay about okay about Juma going there. Okay, change position. Okay, and now I guess I will go to get the manual of the template to understand <laughs> uh, how the right position is called. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's just not right. It's, 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 it's not cool. Okay, let's get back to the list of, uh, of pain. Uh, pain number four, it's hard to configure articles, article presentation. Well, and this is a very cool thing. For example, um, we have uh, we have this this one, right? R written by Joomla, and now we want to hide it. Okay, just move mouse over it, click left. You'll see the uh, context menu. Hide elements for all pages or for this one. Well, let's hide for all pages. Well, okay, it's hidden. Let's refresh it. Okay, it's gone. Well, your, your customer might say, well, you didn't understand what I said. I wanted to hide the title, not, not, not that blog. Okay. You can click this tiny button to show all unpublished or hidden elements in order to re-show them again. Okay, show element on all pages. All right, now, as you wish, I will hide the title. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what I want. Bunch of text without title, that's cool. Okay, okay, so you can see that uh, in normal Joomla way, what you had to do to do uh, uh, those actions. Let me show you, let me remind you. You have to go here. Yeah, click on this icon, options. Yes. Yes. Please tell me where, uh, what parameters should I, uh, should I click here. You know it, right? <laughs> it's, it, it's here, it's show title, yes. Well, that was easy task. Let's do something more complicated. Okay, like this, like this. Okay, I want to have this element arranged in two columns, not three. 
Not three. Okay. In regular Joomla way, you have to go here again. Uh, open the, the Joomla book on, on the right side. Read and go. Go, yeah, uh, block. It's a block. Column two. This one. But uh, here it's two columns. So I guess this is the setting for menu items. Oh, menu items, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's another madness. Okay, let's go to menu items. Uh, it was home item, right? Home. Okay. Home. Okay, yeah, three. I see this magic number three. I wanted to make it two. But which three? This one, uh, I guess, column. Okay, so you edit it, you click, click save, congratulations. But here, let me show you another approach. Click here. And here you will see, well, parameters, but they are arranged in a human understandable way. You know, intro articles, three articles placed in three columns arranged from left to right. So this is uh, a more, a, a more human-friendly um, uh, way to show those parameters. So I just did, OK, I want to show three, I, I want to show four, four articles arranged in two columns uh, from left to right. OK, fine. OK, and here, here we go. OK. Well, there should be four articles, but the category on, on, only have three. So, but we have two columns. That's great. So that was the cure for pain number four. And we have one last pain. This is uh, how to control middle items. Middle items. Well, here you will see, pre you, you, you can see the same context menu where you can perform all op operations that are supported by Joomla. All these things are actually uh, these things. This one, you know, unpublish, trash, check-in, rebuild. All these functions are now moved in this context menu. It's really con c convenient to use. And you can remove, you can drag and drop it to relocate it, okay. You can put the item inside another items. Let's see here, and, and it's here. So it's really easy. Now you don't have to, uh, to reorder, to, uh, to click on this ordering, then put these numbers, then click on this icon. You know, it's all, it's all, it's all not for, for new users, not for me as well, you know. Uh, presenter and listener. I just want to show you the, the, the start, and then I want to uh, uh, repeat the questions from other before you answer so that we can record the question. The question. Okay, yeah. Um, well, um, we want to make it, I want to make it as a, 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 a kind of, a, a kind of um, funny discussion. So I show you the start, and um, now I just want to give a few more words uh, about uh, about this one. This is this is the the most cool slide. Uh, this is this extension is free. Uh, we uh, this is not a commercial extension, although many people say us that uh, you are full. You could uh, you could get a good good box for this extension. But uh, we just wanted to make Joomla a better system. Uh, this extension, the, the, the idea of this extension was, was born when I was uh, doing a demo website for, for, for our templates. And I was, uh, it, it, it was three hours in the morning, it was 3 a.m. and uh, I was really getting mad and I, I see all those things and I think, well, no. We have to do something. We have to create something that, that will at least help us to, to make process of making Joomla websites easier. And that's how the idea was born. And, um, and, now, and now it is here. Now it is available on GED. Uh, 
Well, you can, you, you can just type GED and make a search for, for Power Admin, or you can try to re remember this full path. Uh, you can download these extensions for free, available for, for free. Just give it a try, and I think you'll like it. And some, some final words about people who is behind this, uh, this project. Well, yeah, this is, uh, this is me in, in, the, in the center. Uh, we have uh, Hian, the guys here, please stand up. Hian, and we have Tuan. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, then this is the team of developers. Uh, three PHP guys, one CSS guy, uh, one go for documentation, one go for video. Okay. Hi. Uh, this is people who, uh, who build this slide. Okay. And we are all from Vietnam. This is our team. And uh, I would like to use this opportunity to, uh, to invite you all to our country, this beautiful country. Uh, Peter has have been here and uh, he can confirm. So we have beautiful sea, beautiful places, and um, we invite you all to come to us. When? Whenever you want, just, just, just contact us through, through zoom, zoomlashine.com, you will see the contact field, and just, just contact us. Just say, I'm the guy who was uh, sitting, uh, listening to you at uh, 5 p.m. I was tired, but, uh, well, I will recall. Okay, so basically, that was all. And now I, wanted, I want to start discussions, really. Yeah, yeah please. Uh, Ah, yes, yes, absolutely. This is just the uh, one more layer. We add one more layer that will help user to easily configure Joomla parameters. All parameters are the same, but we just, uh, yes, this is the, com the component. Uh, so uh, we just made the software uh, think for user about what parameters to switch. And they just type here, just hide elements, and the software will understand that uh, he will need to switch parameter called uh, show title. Yeah. Well, yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, ac actually, that was uh, our main goal of coming here. Uh, because uh, for us, it's, uh, it's a huge expense to fly 12 hours and uh, to pay for all this. But we really wanted to, to make it because we wanted to, to talk to, to, to the face of, 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 of people from uh, working groups. Uh, that will be tomorrow uh, with Kyle, and uh, really to show all this. And uh, well, because um, uh, I, re I recall the presentation of, of, of Jeremy Wilkins today morning, uh, what he said is uh, don't talk, start doing the thing that, that, that you think uh, will work. And we actually did. Absolutely, that thing with, with, with this. So instead of jumping to forum and say, well, you should do this and that, we just made this. And we are showing it, and it's free, it's a real uh, contribution, it's, uh, it, it's just uh, the expression of our vision of how Zoomla administration should be. And well, tomorrow, I hope Kyle will pay some of his uh, attention to this one. And if not, he will, because I believe that these extensions will be used widely, and eventually uh, they will heard about it. 
there. And uh, it is available on GED uh, for a week, and it has now already uh, more than 5,000 uh, uh, downloads and uh, nine, um, nine votes, nine five, five stars votes. So I think, well, if the thing is useful, people will use it. Any other questions? Excuse me, sir? Jack Brebba. Ah, uh, not yet. Not yet, but... Well, I hope that uh, this video recording will be seen by many people after Jeb. And... Well, they'll, they'll, they'll be really great, sir. Uh, there is something more unpublished. Yeah. Uh, you mean uh, this part, right? The, 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 the component part. Yeah. Well, this is a very good question. Uh, right now, we have built uh, this concept, we have applied this concept to three layouts in COM content. It's a single article layout, it's a block, and it's a list. Um, well, what I wanted to do here is, is to show the concept, actually. But uh, third party developers can join in and can implement the same concept to their applications. And we will try to implement the plugin mechanism so people can develop plugins for their system, just plug in here, and it, it will work. Right now, if you select some, uh, uh, some component that doesn't support yet, like com login, it will show that um, it's not supported yet. <laughs> because we, 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 had, we had only six months for, for these extensions, and we couldn't uh, Im, uh, implement uh, for, 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 for many e extensions. But our intention was just to show the concept. Uh -huh. uh, but the, the thing on the modules and the thing on, on the, uh, the menus, that's really great. So just those two uh, are enough yeah, for yeah. me to improve the experience. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, well, um, uh, we, we, we have uh, a lot of feedbacks from our users, and many people say that only this spotlight along is really useful. Mm. Only this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, so, right? agree. So the system is the same thing you have already done that, yeah. from that end. Uh -huh. so we just need to like, take it and move it to the front end. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the code and the layout, the ideas. Mm -hmm. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. Well, uh, actually, we already started doing, uh, doing that thing, but uh, uh, there was such a little time to, yeah. to, to, to get it done. So yes, ba basically what we are working on right now is actually absolutely what you were saying. Uh, we moved models presentation to the front end. So here on top, there will be three buttons, a menu, components, and models. When you click on models button, all these things, all these real models will be collapsed and will, and will be shown as, 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 uh, as, these, as these bars, as these bars. And there you will be drag and drop them, move them ar around. And 
Yeah, well, we, we are working on it. And, uh, and when you click on the component button, all this, this uh, the main part will, will transform, will transform to, uh, to, the, to, to this one. So you can move mouse over and click and show context menu and do all those things. Yes. Is that last year that challenge was made by a member of the audience to somebody who was talking about a new jewel of battle. Yes. And they said, why can't we have these editing facilities in the front end? And the pundit, the expert, the speaker said that would be altogether too difficult. And B3 Web had Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think they've done the front end version of this yes. uh, already, and they have some experience and expertise. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. And there is also a component uh, which was done by students uh, during the rules under 2008 or 2009, uh -huh. uh, which can do content editing. You can edit titles, menus, uh, change positions. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you re remember his name? Okay. <laughs> well, maybe he will find us after after this one. Yeah. Well, because uh, as as I said, and I would like to re rephrase it, that uh, this one was made as a pure contribution to Joomla. It was too painful to, to see how Joomla loses its position compared to WordPress just because of the bad UX. And what, what, what Kyle is doing is great, but I think uh, we need something more than just uh, a beautiful interface. We need a new concept. We need a new concept and an and, 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 and easier concept. Uh -huh. things, uh -huh. Yeah. For some kind of things, you still need the standard Joomla administration. For e commerce, yeah, you can edit the product on the, on the front end, but for orders, for managing the orders, uh, yeah, yeah, right, you right. You still need a standard, you know, back end with your filters and Yeah, right, right, right. But for basic users like edit this, this is just great. Yeah. Uh, not yet. Uh, this was built. Well, it was built with uh, jQuery UE. Uh, yes, but in uh, next version we were moving it to Bootstrap. Well, we we saw what Kai was doing, and we have uh, we, ha we have a good feeling that uh, Bootstrap will be included in uh, Joomla 3, 3, 3 So, um, okay, we are full. Multi language. Uh, right. Yes. That's a good question. Uh, right now, we have supported uh, uh, five languages. Five or four? Four. Yeah. Move module? Yeah. When you arrange the module in the back, in your To move model? No, no, no. <laughs> to, or if you move search, yes. position zero, okay. position one, okay. would that move just for the language in which you were operating or for all languages? Wow. Well, it depends. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, things. And uh, and if uh, so, basically, if I move model search to model uh, to position uh, one, there will be there will have the the same effect as if you do it through model manager. There's no difference. So it will be applied everywhere, as far as uh, as as as. We actually, this is just a, a layer that will act on the database on behalf of user. Yes, yes. It, it's, it's just an abstract layer that will make the database modification actions more easier. Not through this, uh, this, uh, this uh, screen, but in a more convenient way. That's all. Yes, you know, we request the Well, no problem. Well, no, uh, you know, because uh, I think what we all want to is, is to make Joomla better, right? Because if we uh, build our businesses based on Joomla, it's obviously that you know, our business will expand. If Joomla grow, we need more users. So I think it's in our interest to improve Joomla and uh, just feel free to, to give up ideas and we will do our best. We will contact. Uh, other guys who are all also interested. If you are interested in um, collaboration on, on this project, just feel free to contact us uh, through joomlashine.com. There will be the contact form. Just give us a line and uh, drop, drop us a line and, and we'll, we'll respond. So if... Um, uh, 15 minutes? That's all? <laughs> I think next season will start in, in, in six, right? It's, uh, it's, um, so, um, I hope you, you, uh, uh, I, I hope this presentation ignited some interest in, in, in you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you.